Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how you can create a new student on diagnostic questions. Now, this is often needs to be the case if a student has joined your school midway through the year, or for whatever reason, they've slipped through the net and never actually registered on diagnostic questions. And I'm gonna show you two ways of doing this. And basically it's up to you, whatever you think is the easiest and most suitable for your needs. So the first one I'm gonna call the manual way. So get yourself logged in and you're on the dashboard and just go down to students, give that a click. And this will show you every student in your school, uh, but you wanna create a new student. So to do that, simply click on create a student. And on this page, you'll get to choose their username and perhaps you could do this in, with lia in liaison with them. Maybe they're sat next to you in the maths office or whatever. Come up with a username, first name, surname, um, email if you want them to receive notifications for um, when new quizzes are assigned and so on. Um, gender and date of birth, uh, I'll just say at this stage, the reason we collect this, it's all anonymized, but it just helps with statistical analysis. It enables you to compare girls versus boys, um, both within your school and nationally. Likewise with date, and, date of birth, it means we can compare year seven to year 11s and so on. You don't have to put those in though. Uh, time zone and so on. And then from this page, you can directly put them into the class that uh, you want them to belong into. So that, that's one way of doing it. And um, the other way of doing it is back to the traditional um, class code way. So say, for example, you know that you want them to join the Gryffindor class. So if you go to classes, and then you go to Gryffindor and click invite students. That then generates them a class invite code. Now we looked at this in a previous video um, and essentially students just need to register with the site. And then as soon as they've signed up, type in that class invite code and they'll immediately join your school and your class. So that's probably the easiest two ways of adding new students to diagnostic questions.